Grant Kircher. Grant Kircher out of 302 BJJ. Purple belt looking to go 4-0 tonight in the 145 pound bracket. He is a gamer. I'm super excited to see him. In the blue corner challenging that record with his debut tonight, we have Martin Montalvo. make his debut under Henzo Gracie, New York City, and he is only 19 years old, another 19 year old. Martin's been coaching everyone all night. All the Henzo Gracie guys are victors. Did yep. This is going to be a good matchup. Alright, well it's going to be a good matchup then. And then 3-0 and in Arena? He might, is that the best record in Arena Grappling? It's got to be close. Up there at least. Yeah, absolutely. And 145, smaller guys. Yeah, they're going to be scrappy for sure. Mike's are on. And he'll pull right away with Martin. Grant will find himself on top. More than comfortable here in this position. Oh, Martin jumping a triangle, and it's actually in there. Triangle. Grant looks comfortable, though. He's going to get out. Very nice. But right to the legs will Martin do. He's gonna look to spin underneath and capture Grant's left oh, leg here. Very the other nice. Leg. Oh my God! What a switch! Very scrappy. The yeah, Hanzo guys have brought nothing but excitement tonight, so this is no surprise. It was nice. He collected the first leg, That's and he quickly got. transitioned late to the second day leg to come after that one. Absolutely. Yep. Super. I mean, John Danaher spent a lot of time at Hanzo. <laughs> you have to want. You have to wonder if they caught some stuff there as well. Grant doing a good job trying to pass though. Separate the knees from elbows. See if he can get a little bit of exposure with that leg weave pass. Anyway, as we started the last match, we wrestling base this one. Now we're doing back to normal jiu-jitsu. I know. Jiu -jitsu. Nice, normal, slow, technical jiu-jitsu. I like it. Like I like it. match like this all night, I think. <laughs> We've seen <laughs> a lot of... Right. Very fast-paced, bumping heads. I like, I like their energy. They bring a nice, refreshing speed. Which is actually kind of funny because I think Grant might have been quickest submission last time, oh, if I remember. Oh, very nice sweep with that butterfly hook. That was very nice. You know what, as soon as he got swept, Grant fell right Grant's for the leg. Grant's going into the, the leg, yeah, absolutely. Looking to recognize where his submission is. Martin does a good job of seeing it, though, and he'll now concede the bottom. Oh, look at that. Grant, scoop leg very Grant. nice scoop. He's, He's going to be in honey hole deep. He does need to control that secondary leg, though. I noticed how he got his hand on that knee to try and control it. For sure. Martin does a good job escaping with the secondary leg. And now Grant's back in on on maybe a straight footlock here. Yeah, he's. I think it's straight, yeah. You said Martin's 19 years old? 19, yep. Wow. I told 18 you. 19-year-old lost, 19-year-old won. We'll see you in North. This, These this young kids wild. nowadays, they, man. They I'm are coming you. up so fast. And a purple belt, no less. Like That's right. a lot of good experience there. I'm feeling old sitting here, to be honest. I think I'm the oldest one at the table, so I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, when I was 19, I wasn't doing this. Yeah. <laughs> that is so true. It takes so much discipline um, for them to be doing jujitsu. I think we're finding kids at the younger ages, they're so much more mature because I of agree. this. I, I was doing jujitsu at 19. I don't think I was doing that. Oh, oh my gosh, for real. Marin is he's so composed here, and he's you know in a threatening position. Doesn't look to be worried at all, looking to separate legs of his own to get to that 50-50. Oh, his ankle's making me nervous now. I, I know, right? Grant trying to maybe get the, the toes into that armpit for a heel hook on the inside. But Martin doing a good job pulling his toes back. I, actually, I think he's using his left arm to pull it back here. Two minutes left of the round. Martin's doing a great job rolling through these ankle locks, but Grant's both, had it deep the whole time. I think we both got a figure four now, right? I believe so. Yep, yeah. we can see we can see Martin's side over here as a figure four. Now we gotta let, we have to separate them legs now. Absolutely. What do you think about finishes um, from 50-50 with heel hooks, Andrew? Do you prefer them or honey hole? I like honey hole better, just me personally, just for my style. Absolutely. But I do feel like it's it's well, harder to prefer. escape honey hole. I mean, I yeah, mean, I agree. But I will say 50-50, it's harder to like almost like you almost always have the leg there. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yep. You just have to watch your own, and that's like right. the, the biggest con I think yeah. for 50-50. Some people are just so confident 50-50. They're like, yeah, you take mine. I'm going to get yours first. I'm not going to lie. I am one of those people. And then I got the experience yesterday and realized I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't be. So <laughs> I will now be rethinking my 50-50 game. 
Grant looking good on bottom. Martin staying composed on top with just a little bit over a minute left in the first uh, first set here. Maybe a look at an arm crush to connect to the legs mm -hmm. for Grant. And he did right away, too. He tried it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But Martin does a good job of stuffing it. Look at that hook when he tried that the back step. beautiful. Something to be appreciated about hooks. These guys are technicians. Yep. They, they study the game. The cool thing about smaller grapplers is they're so used, pro used to people pressuring them mm -hmm. that they have to be more technical. Um, and I, I love that. I might be a little biased here, but, you know, <laughs> no, they are great. Technical, precise, slow For paced sure. without being boring match of the night. For sure. As we come up in the card, too, I think you see higher level grappling. Yes. And that's what we're seeing now. He's in on, He is selling out on this arm crush. But Martin will come down, and he looks to sit right away. Oh, and he chases from the bottom. Absolutely. I yep. like that. Always moving forward. Me too. Forward. Moving forward. Martin will find himself in, like, a reverse Delaheva position. Oh, oh very nice. Reverse with the arm drag. Very nice round. No submission. Round one. Very good. That was a fun one. Both looking pretty composed. I think they're going to come into round two with a lot of a lot of good energy still. I don't think they're very tired at all. This one. Could, this could be another one where we're going to start to see him fade into a longer distance. Absolutely. The thing is, I don't know Martin, but I know Grant, and I know that he he will turn up the dial. So, And I have a feeling Martin's going to match the pace, so it's, I think it's going to get a lot more exciting as we go. They both look pretty fresh still. Yeah, oh, yeah. for sure. Ready? Maybe ready to go the distance. Fight. Let's get it on. Here we go. Here we go. We are in match 11 right now. 145 pound bout on, on this endurance format tonight. We are truly seeing the definition of endurance tonight as, as well as we really haven't in previous arena series. Make sure you guys are tuning in at Arena Grappling on YouTube, subscribing, liking, sharing, and trying to get on these matches. It really is a great show. The facility is nice. The whole college has been good so far. Good matches. Yeah, good absolutely. Soon, if you guys see to my right, uh, Andrew Cocker will likely be on there. But you can also find him on Emeralds, not Emerald City. Yeah, Emerald City. No, well, I'm doing Combat, Combat EBI. Worlds, yeah. Combat, and that's going to be on UFC Fight Pass. The big show. The big. He's in the big legs. <laughs> I'd like to see a leg pummel again from Grant um, to cover over that, that bottom leg there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a right leg pummel over. Because that hook isn't going to be holding too strong of mm -hmm. Martin's. No, definitely not. Nice little leg pummel on north-south pass. But you know what? That knee shield can be a pain to pass. It is. It, it is. can definitely be. It's a strong position. If someone was, that a John, was that a John Wayne sweep? John Wayne, yeah. Oh, goodness. Shout out to Keith Krikorian who just showed me the John Wayne Did sweep he? like literally yeah. yesterday. Keith, oh, he's real good. He's great. Oh, he's yeah. some good stuff. Have you ever had a match against him? I have not. That would be a fun matchup. Here I am just matchmaking for Andrew. <laughs> I'll Martin go will find himself <laughs> anytime, anywhere. Martin will find himself on the top here. Grant with the two-on-one. I'm really loving watching the two-on-one yeah. on grips. And that's but good pressure down. You got underhook on the nice. arm, scoop the head, shoulder pressure down. This is some classic jujitsu, which Henzo Gracie obviously will be good at. Henzo himself um, running the blue basement. The blue basement, the blue so basement. popular. <laughs> it is. I have taken a many trips there, and I'll tell you, it is. It is pretty cool. Have you ever been there? I've been to the blue basement one time. It's pretty. It's big. Oh my goodness. Very blue. Is it as like gloomy and uh, musty as they say? It was pretty musty. I was back in the in the Danaher yeah. days, and it, it was has like that uh, that gym sweat smell. Yeah. Yeah. Not not a bad way, you know. <laughs> yeah, has, like, you, you, you can just tell know they where you're at. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You ever been in the old Balance in Philadelphia? Oh yeah, the crap, the crummy-ish looking one. Yes, yes. Those kind of gyms are like those are what make jujitsu right. the original jujitsu. Right now, I mean, even this gym itself, such a great gym, but aesthetically very pleasing. All the old school gyms are very like they're just gritty and grimy. You love something about it. That's kind of how my gym is. I'll have to come in at Valley. Oh, uh, we got like a, a rectangle of a room. I love All it. boxed I love in. It. Oh yeah. Nice regard from Grant. I think uh, Martin was trying to isolate that far left arm, but Grant did a good job of getting his guard back. Martin back onto this knee cut, trying to get a beat that knee shield. We're already halfway through round two here. Super technical jujitsu. This might be one of my favorite matchups. I feel like they, they match each other's pace very well. Their games complement each other. They both look yeah. good on the top and the bottom now. That very nice beautiful. pass from Martin. Beautiful. 
That's got the Henzo Super quarter. Super clean. <laughs> Henzo's over here counting those three pass points. You know, he, Goodness he, gracious. He dropped that hip right at the perfect time. He dropped it like it was hot, Andrew. That's what he did. <laughs> it was hot. So okay. It was hot. It, it was hot. hot. He's going to have some arm exposure possibilities here, too, with Grant's arms on the outside as Martin stays really tight and climbs up to the top half of the body. 19 years old. Nuts. He could beat me, I'm sure. He'd kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, though, that's gotta be a fun way to go, right? Grappling? Absolutely, right? Cool Embarrassing that it was, it's a 19-year-old, like, they're, not, they're still a teenager, but, like, you know, whatever. You know, but jiu-jitsu kind of equalizes you. It, it does. Really does. It does. I'm You're a, all I'm equals big, in the sport. Yeah. And just like you were saying earlier, ranks really are not mattering not as, much as much anymore. As much People are just getting better, faster. I have blue belt, purple belt to my gym that I'm like, oh, he's good. And yep, I, you know what yep. I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree. Grant able to get his uh, top butterfly hook in, but very nice back or almost pass from Martin. We'll find himself back in a guard. We're down to the last 30 seconds of, of round number two. That flew. That felt oh, good. Yeah, that was a quick second round. You know, I'm happy to see how much this sport's actually growing. Yeah. When I was, like, too. younger, it was real small. And now every weekend I see something from jiu There's something but. every weekend. I think this round two is going more so to Martin, so I'm wondering yes. if we'll start to see more separation in round three here. Will he break uh, Grant down yeah, more, yeah, or will yeah, Grant yeah. be able to kind of, like, come back from this round two positional battle? A little sudden death action coming at you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're right, because it's no submissions the first two. No submissions. A couple passes, though. Yeah. All right, here we go, round three. No submissions so far. wonder whose blood it is. Not mine. <laughs> That's the important part. I hope it's not yours back here. Yeah. <laughs> I was excited. I wore a white shirt. I was like, I wanted to come up like, honey, look at all this. I know, you look so professional. I don't mean I'm doing the interviews. I got to rest up. Great. I'm wondering if I'm if I'm Grant if I'm deciding to play the top because he's played the bottom now in round two and it wasn't really in his favor. And you know they both had that 50-50 spot throw. They're both attacking some leg right, locks. Yep, both leg locks. Both had issues finishing the leg locks. So curious to see where we go in round three. Nice and calm, even on the on the startup. And Martin will take the bottom right away. Interesting, considering he was controlling. He's doing great he had passing a beautiful on the pass, top. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Little hip switch type of pass. It was beautiful. Looking to get that far arm of Grant's is Martin. We did see previously he took the bottom though and used that arm drag yeah, to, to, come to get to the top. top. And I think he, he almost attempted that this time as well. You know, it, it, it saves a lot of energy more than wrestling up there. If you just get an arm drag from the bottom and wrestle up. Yep, just instead of having to worry about all those takedowns that we saw <laughs> every, everyone <laughs> else going for. Grant happy to try that two on one grip. See if he can flatten Martin out. Very nice choice at the sit out for Grant. I think he needs to climb the body, otherwise we're gonna see some octopus guard coming from Martin here. Very nice switch. Very nice. That was clean. Grant's smiling at that <laughs> This is actually a weird position. This is a weird position. I'm trying to figure out how to dissect it. Me too. And I think I think it's Martin taking his right leg pummel. Towards the, towards the left side, but I'm not sure because now they're reversing again and they're on the cage. Yeah. So now he's not going to be able to pass I think, right. to the direction he needs to pass. Which actually was good defense by Grant, technically. Yeah, he yeah. just went over to the cage said he can't pass that way now. <laughs> Very smart because he has that left butterfly hook in, so it's smart. Grant does a good job of getting back into his guard, looking for a leg of his own. Nice elevation with that right leg hook. Oh, beautiful. Mm, very nice into single leg single X leg here. X, yeah. Beautiful. Maybe a look at the straight foot lock mm -hmm. if he could get off that base leg. This is where we need to work those tilts to yes. get in. He has to off balance a little better. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Nice first, spin on it. First time all night it's been too technical for me to really dissect. This, this <laughs> is insane. This is a That's beautiful display a good match. of guard yeah. and jujitsu. Absolutely fantastic. Martin is doing a great job of staying on top, and Grant's doing a great job of going between the guards. Yeah, and he has his feet locked now. Yep, he, he is tight in on that on that right leg here. The thing is, though, he doesn't have the left, so I'm I'm wondering if that's going to play into a factor of yeah, it how Martin's going to get it out. It takes a lot of strength though to pull that leg in from there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because he's got such a right. he's got such a good base. Uh, does Martin? 
Grant would have to spin underneath to yes. collect that leg, um, and Martin realizes that. So oh, I think he's going, oh, he's on, going he under. He's going to land in probably a 50-50 yeah, he here. Got it. Very nice, very nice. As long as he's protecting his own leg, which he's doing a great job of. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to have a potential look at the heel. Those belly, oh wow, but Martin's looking to come up and he might be able to successfully do it and collect his legs together. His legs are so flexible, very it just like bends them and comes up. What a way to get out of 50-50. I would like to re-watch that. He's going to be in a good leg drag set. Yeah, I, from I here. actually want to rewatch that too. See, I, was going to I don't know how he escaped 50 50, but that was really nice. He's going to be in a good spot to pass, is Martin. And his, his passing game looks pretty tight. Used one knee on belly to transition to the left, left knee on belly. Yeah. Very smart. Grant doing a good job of staying small, though, not letting him connect chest to chest. I almost want to see Martin, if we make it another 90 seconds, start the, the fourth overtime in on top. Don't pull guard. He's looked so good on top. He's transitioning and working it wherever he wants. It's just can he find the submission? But he's finding the top even from sitting. He's always yeah, sweeping. Absolutely. He's wrestling up. Yeah, he's doing so good. Like I said, I already know Grant, but I'm reading that, you know, um, Martin has competed at Worlds and Pans, and he's won some local tournaments, but I have a feeling we're going to hear a lot more from this kid. And I tell you, he said he won his first match at Pans in 30 seconds by triangle, that which is, is very wild. impressive. Yeah, that is very yeah. impressive. And he's in full mount here with a minute left. Can he make something happen? If he gets the submission in round three, it is over, and he is isolating that arm. Grant's arm is climbing up. Might have a look at a head and arm, an arm bar. So many options. I like how he's using his heels on the hips to pin to make sure that he's separated. Oh, but Grant possibly throwing it over. Martin realizes it, stuffs. He might be able to collect an arm here. 30 seconds to try. Or mount it, maybe even a mounted yeah. triangle. That's going to be a little harder, I think, to finish in the time. Yeah, but but the, the arm bar, the arm bar is there. He has that arm. Throw that leg over. Grant goes for the leg off of it. We're coming down to the wire on this last little bit. I don't have the good angle, but I'm wondering if he's got an arm here. Looking at about 10 seconds left in this match. Grant in a co very copper, and wow. he is out. He oh is, my goodness. He it and I think it out. we're going to round four. Very nice. Again, he uses mm -hmm. that arm drag to come up. And he's so quick at it. He Absolutely. It. Good timing. Great yeah, jujitsu. We, we are going to an overtime. No submissions in the first three. I think this was my favorite, though, back and forth so far on getting to the overtime. Let's be again to the overtime. Very, very good jujitsu. Um, my thought is in round three, Martin looked a lot more dominant. Yes. And he also oh, yeah. looked dominant in round two. So, like, are we going to see that in round four? Is he going to take it away? He definitely Martin, started to turn the tide. Martin doesn't look that tired to me yet. No, no. Not that Grant is. I'm just saying, Martin looks like right. he's still calm. He and looks like he there. is very composed. Yeah. You have to wonder, spending a lot of time on the bottom, are you Sorry. tired if you're if you're Grant? Ready? Ready? Here we go. All right, we oh, are in our next sits. overtime. Immediate sit by Martin, but no surprise, he likes to wrestle up. So we'll see if Still he hits that. Plenty of time to wrestle up here. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's hope not too much. Yeah. Time. I love the guards. They're so intricate on both sides. Both both sides have displayed beautiful guard jujitsu. His ability to invert has yeah. is very great. He's going to have a good look at the leg or the back. back. He doesn't so like slow and himself. smooth and collective. Though. Absolutely. Yep. It makes it look so right. seamless. And he'll take the top off that inversion. He does. He does it so effortless, effortlessly. He's just like waiting, waiting, does it. He's very, it almost looks like he's flow rolling with yes. you. Grant upside down on a leg. Potentially Martin's, I think, right leg. But Martin does a good job of stuffing it. And Grant will roll through and is, oh, triangle possible there. triangle there. It looked good. It did. It, it looked, looked good. good. It was, it's a, it's a good highlight moment. <laughs> and that's what we're here for, really, is the highlights. Grant keeping his right hook in here. Seems colorful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin looking to make Grant a little more tired with a headlock. The only thing saving Grant is that is that right hook, but 
you know, if he doesn't get too high, he might be able to finish coming off oh. the side. Oh, and he misses. He had that butterfly hook and just elevate him a little. Yes. That was nice. But is he in? Oh, what wow. a great chain of events. That was <laughs> very nice. Grant back to that two on one. Starting to hear that breathing. Mm -hmm. A little bit used to making it angry here on Martin's side. Jiu-Jitsu being this one is very good. Yeah, very absolutely. Good. It's a technical match. I'd say this is the most technical yes. jiu-jitsu we've seen so, so far many, tonight. There's like, small details going on that people can't see. For That's sure. Really I'm telling you, the smaller, the smaller guys have to be more technical. The 145, 135s, they're my favorite. I don't know if you guys know Eric Naples, but he's yeah, always one of my favorite, favorites to watch. He's so small, he's super technical. Very nice chest to chest by Martin. But Grant doing a great job of making frames to get that right knee shield back in. Martin's brought the fight over to Maybe an arm bar oh, That was beautiful. Ooh. That was a good, oh, I don't think he has, does he have the elbow? He does he have does. the elbow in. He's gonna be a little slippery. Hopefully he can hold on to this elbow here. If he does, it's gonna, it's gonna be tight. It looks, can he separate the hands? That's the battle right now. Can he separate the hands without Martin slipping? Right. He's got to separate the hands and keep the Martin elbow. Martin doing a great job of hits. stacking, though. Oh, and they're up on the cage, which is going to limit him from finishing. Oh, yeah. Martin is composed as ever. I wish I could see his face from this angle. I think Glenn is collecting that leg with his other hand. Just to make sure he has that backup plan. That's very smart. Again, connect, connecting the arms and legs we've right. seen all night. That's this has been a very b big position that we've seen this evening. Definitely being patient on the arm is Grant, but also being patient on the escape from Martin. It's gonna be a hard position to hold for a long period of time. Martin's got his right knee on the neck, I think, which is, is gonna be tiring. For Grant, they said he don't like it. I wouldn't like a knee <laughs> no, on my I'm neck good. either. I'm good with that. Like, would you have a rather have a knee on neck? Oh, he or extended not? the oh arm my a gosh! Oh, he's selling out on the arm. Oh, wow. he's rolling with it. But Martin is doing a great job of stepping over and defending. Wow. I would say in this position, it's not going to be as tight anymore. No, no, he no, had no. a moment. He's out. Oh, my gosh. And he will find the top. He had an extension. That was strong. That was an almost for sure. Very nice attempt by Grant. That's the submission we've seen so far. Absolutely, yep. Is Martin in top mount here? I yeah. can't see his left leg. Oh, shoot. If I'm Grant, I'm walking my feet against the cage and getting myself out of there. Yep. No thank you. Daniel Tay, who got the dub earlier tonight, is enjoying it. <laughs> Daniel Tay could be on commentary, and I would be here for it. No. He also was coaching a, a teammate earlier, and he was more excited, I think, than I was. <laughs> and like we said, Martin's been coaching all night. Coach Martin's on fire. <laughs> Coach Martin is a still teenager. Let's remember this. <laughs> He's not even legal to drink. <laughs> He's not getting to drinks after that. <laughs> He's not going to drinks. They're leaving him in the parking lot. <laughs> He might have to take a nap after this one. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. It's past his bedtime. <laughs> Grant doing a great job of staying tight. Oh, and we are inflicting the 10-minute warning right now, so that means matches are closing out. We're closing in on, I think, 20 minutes on this match? We're over 20 minutes on the match now. All right, so that means we'll have a 30-minute 30, a 30 match cap now, and then we'll be going on to those EBI finals. I want to see a submission here. Me too. Interesting to see what Arena Grappling is going to do with uh, the unlimited overtime after tonight. Right. It kind of got tested. Absolutely. You know, every one of these, Series 1 through 4, has just been like this, and Series 5 has been... Like this. It's good competition. It's really good competition. It is. It is. The competition is just getting better and better. This is going to be our last one before the main event, too. These are. This is one of those matchups, though. I feel like I could watch forever because I'm always so. I'm just so interested in the the exchange of positions that they're in. Wait, there's two more matches, right? Yeah, the co-main event and the main event yeah. after this. Yeah. Last two after this. Wow. I think the audience is engaged with us because it is dead silent in here. Just looking to see what is going to be happen next. We might have a look at an arm, possibly a gift wrap. There it is. There's the gift wrap. I agree. We do have to get nasty. I would like to see some more smothering personally. It's, it's such a part of the game. Where's Dave Romano when you need that guy? <laughs> Especially when you're already tired. Like now that smother yeah, comes yeah, in. Yeah, 100%. It affects it's you a lot. The, that little bit. We were talking about the mother's milking. It's no oh, joke. Yeah, no, it's it tiring. 
I don't see Dave Romano right now, but I see his opponent, Luke Shoma. So Luke has just been doing the same warm-up for like five hours straight. He is so locked in. The scary thing about Luke is that he never looks scary, but he's always like, actually scary. Yeah, he's scaring me right now. <laughs> we have a possible triangle here, too, coming out of Martin. He's got um, he's Grant's right arm almost scary. out here. He's going like this. Oh. Yeah, abs I mean, his last one was a triangle win right. in 30 seconds, so this like might be it. his bread and like butter. It. But Grant, I think he does have his hands connected to the legs there, if I'm not mistaken. I think he has like, his hands together. He does, okay. Yeah. But, you know, even with that right hand still in, he could finish well, he it. He can still straight. finish it. Yep, he switched his legs. Especially 30 minutes into a Needs match. He's a better yeah. angle, yep. I would say he could, he could look to attack the arm as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, as you hear. Yeah, definitely thinking of Kimura. many options there, many options there. Triangle, Kimura. It's a good position, though. You're thinking, you know, if you're Grant, when we know there's a 10-minute limit, like, are, are we just trying to escape and then bide our time? You know, this is now where strategy comes into play. We see Martin stretching, uh, switching back and forth um, on his triangle. And I'm okay with trying to buy time. I'm all for trying to buy time here, but yeah, I don't know absolutely. if you want to buy time into in triangle. Position, right in the, yeah. It looks like it's getting tighter, too, and he's cut, Martin's cutting a little more of an angle to the right. I also think it's a little tiring. You can see him kind of holding mm. both with both arms. The question is, how tired are Martin's legs? Yeah, does yeah, he have it in him? Ex exactly. As is he able to keep that clamp down? We can hear you definitely hear the heavy breathing from I here. Think it's working. That's a very good angle. This is going to be our best shot, I think, to finish. I wish we could see the the left shoulder of Grant to see how tight it truly is in there. I hear some breathing though, I tell you I, that. Yeah, definitely. I would imagine this is Grant's breathing that we're hearing. It, oh, oh, triangle's getting a little oh. looser, but is he going for the arm? Could he go for the arm? I think the triangle's going to be loose. There's probably a little bit of breathing room. For what if he can grab his shin and pull it back down? Yeah, that's right. a good idea. See, yeah, get that shin grab. That is nice. I still, oh, he tapped, he's got it. Very nice. Very nice display of jiu-jitsu from Martin Montalvo, the 19-year-old versus Grant Kirchner. Martin wins his submission arena debut. Wow. The 19-year-old Martin Montalvo beating a 3-0 opponent in arena grappling. How does it feel, man? Uh, it feels awesome. I mean, when I help uh, thank Grant, sorry, I'm a little tired. We're both tired, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> when I thank Grant, I mean, uh, it's such a great opportunity to go against someone that's probably the most senior competitor in this uh, organization, and his jiu-jitsu was great, his defense was great, his attacks were great, and I think uh, he allowed me to display my jiu-jitsu and things I've been working on, because sometimes with that, that's experienced opponent, you can't really do jujitsu. You just submit them or they stall. But he was attacking the whole time, defending the whole time, so it was, it was a great opportunity. So you were in the corner almost all night coaching your teammates. Now you finally get your chance. Is that hard to wait that long to get your opportunity? Uh, yeah, honestly, I get more nervous for my teammates' matches than my own matches. So um, I was definitely feeling the anxiety, but for my other teammates, but once that passed, I felt pretty calm. 19 years old at uh, Enzo Gracie. These guys messing with you on the way home or not anymore? Uh, not, not, not that much anymore, <laughs> but a little bit still. Okay, congratulations. Great job. Thank you.